the vaccine mandate marks the beginning of a dictatorship in Austria. That's according to these protesters. For months now, tens of thousands of those who've chosen not to get the jab have regularly come out onto the streets to protest what they call an oppressive vaccination requirement. One of them, 57-year-old journalist Reinhard Jesionek, could soon face penalties of up to $4,000. I will receive a fine, fine sooner or later. I will do what all the other people do. I won't pay it. Uh, we will see. I will, 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 will go to a lawyer and we'll go through all this thing. But paying for a lawyer might not even be necessary. The right-wing Freedom Party, the main opposition to the Austrian government, is offering to help the roughly 1.5 million affected citizens avoid the fines. I want to give them a solid, serious and an easy to understand guide so that they can appeal against the penalty notice. Fines for the unvaccinated will not be issued immediately. First, the government is sending a letter to all residents informing them of the new mandate. Then, from mid-March, the police carry out checks in public areas and, if necessary, impose the penalties. The pandemic is not yet over. We see Omicron behaving differently, but we cannot yet predict what will happen in the fall. That's why vaccination continues to be so important. However, for some, the mandatory vaccine measures don't go far enough, as it will not be enforced in the workplace. I believe that uh, enforcing a vaccine mandate for specific workers groups uh, might make more sense, as it also has shown to be more effective. According to a yet-to-be-published study by the University of Vienna, around 15% of demonstrators advocate violent resistance of the vaccine mandate. To some extent, it's understandable that there is a uh, potential for violence in these protesters because they fear for their lives, they fear for the lives of their children because they're wrongly informed um, that the vaccines would be unsafe and that it might kill them. Because of the potential for violence, Austria's Secret Service is reported to be keeping a very close eye on the demonstrations. Around 30% of Austrians have not yet been fully vaccinated. No one else has the right to decide about their bodies, activists say. That's why they will continue to fight against mandatory vaccination in the streets, on the internet and in the courtroom. Johannes Blechberger, CGTN, Vienna.